Now we're ready for the finished coat. Everything's hardened up. We gave it about a half an hour instead. There are little draw lines that I've made. There's little uh, humps and bumps in places. And with quick set, you don't make a lot of sanding or a lot of dust. So I'll just take my knife and take a little hump there. There's a draw line here from my ball. Take it away. Check the top do the same thing. And the center. Now down here, there's a big, big draw line. Right across here, it's a great big ridge. So I'll take my knife, cut it once, twice, three times, feel it. It's almost gone. There we go. It's been sanded. That's considered my sanding. Now I feel bumps and roughness down here, so I'll do the same thing. Scrape it down so it's nice and clean. I take my hand and I just feel it. Feel it to see if there's any high ridge. One up there. And we'll switch around this way. Check this. Oh, there's a line there. Okay, now I'm satisfied that there's no mud that's going to fall into my fresh mud because I took away all the little chunks and stuff. I'll pick up my corner beaten hawk and uh, we'll coat our screws first. I don't have to do anything to them. The trowel is how I coat them for the final coat. So here we go. I got a load. Regular mud, no quick set this time because it is the final coat and I don't have to touch it again. So. With the trowel you do the pick up, lay it on the screws, lay it down to leave the mud there. Take the trowel back, place it, tilt it right up and push hard. Now this is going to be a pain, so we'll take that away. One side. I just skim the whole thing completely tight. There's nothing to sand there or very little to sand. Next one the same way. Push hard. And push that right to the other side. Uh, last two, they're inside the shower, but I like doing this, so I'll just do it again. Load up my mud, then push hard, skim it down, and then it's nice and smooth. That's very, very, very thin. Now we'll get the joints. The trowel is used to get the joints too. Start with the top one. Make sure I, got, I haven't got any mud in the corner, it's going to make chunks in here. So pick up the trowel, I loaded the whole thing. Go a little wider than the mud, the original mud, to feather it out. So we load it up and we'll take it right to that fresh mud just for our tape job at the other end. Again, the bottom. And then we've got it loaded up nicely. Now we'll go back and we'll pull the trowel and load a little mud and come back to the corner and wiggle it. Down here, pull with the trowel, come back, do a little wiggle so it brings it right to the edge. Now we go back and we'll push hard against the top to feather off the top. Hard against the bottom to feather off the bottom. Go back to the top and push hard for the whole trowel. Back to the bottom, push hard with the trowel. Do it again. If you see a draw line in the middle, we do not want any line scratches or anything in this finished coat. So, go back again and do it again. You've reduced the mud some more. Now that's smooth to my satisfaction before sanding. Now I'll get down lower here and take care of this joint at the bottom. So same deal, except I have a water pipe to move around, so I do have to put my tools down a little bit. Forward, draw some mud, wiggle it back. I kept enough mud on my towel to do it again. Now I'll borrow mud from here by skimming it and bringing it down here. So this allows me to come back, now picking up my mud. Wipe your excess mud away every time you're skimming it down. You don't need it on your trowel. So I just keep wiping it onto my hog here. And back and forth. There's a tiny piece of dirt right in here. I will remove it and go again. It'll cause a scratch and I don't want that. There we go. There's no draw lines in there, so I'm very happy with that. Switch to the other side. Back in with the trowel. Make sure my water pipe's not going to bug me. A little wider than the original joint. Very good. Borrow mud, bring it back. Now I start wiping my trowel clean. Feather the top off. Borrow the mud and brought it right to the edge of the tub. Feather the bottom off so that it feathers up. There's barely any sanding there. And that's what we want. I clean my trowel a little better than that. Organize my mud. Now let's skim this down and make it look really nice. So that's right down tight for the bottom. If it doesn't cause a little draw line, then I am done with that joint.
Now, we give 24 hours for the sanding for those joints and in those screws, and just before they're ready to prime this up so that they can go ahead and do the tile work. Uh, we'll get a camera view on this corner and do that little angle. We still have the other side of the tape to cover there. I won't need the trowel for that job. Now, for this, a lot of times you'd want to let this dry a little bit more to come through because we're going to end up making small draw lines that I will check later when I go to sand this. But the idea with this knife is the same. You check your last angle. We made a little draw line where I pull down and up. There's going to be a spot right here. There. I just sanded it and that's smooth. If I feel anything, I will take my trowel or my knife and I will skim it like this. Put the mud on and take it off. It'll make any repairs in my last angle if I wasn't perfect in the first place. Put the mud on. See, it takes away little edges. And if I take it away by doing it with the mud, there's obviously less sanding involved. See, and that just feathered it off a little bit. So we just touched it up. Now let's get back to this side. The second coat has to be extremely dry when it comes to quick set or extremely hard so that I can do this opposite corner to a quick set corner. It's not dry, but it's hardened. Otherwise, you dig in with your knife. Now, press my knife, feather against the joint, which was a very thin coat, so it didn't make much for lines in there. Back to the top. Square up my knife against it so you don't get overflowing to the other side. It's actually pretty nice. It's a little bit of sanding. Now, down from the bottom, going up. There we go. And we'll connect the two together. And I got some overflow, so I'm going to wipe the overflow against this side and I'm going to do it all just one more time and make sure I've got mud in the corner but not an overflow. Down here, same deal. I'm very happy with that. We've got a small draw line there but it's not something that can't be handled a little bit by sandpaper. It is the finished product and uh, all that's left now is sanding and as you can see there's really no major dusting or major sanding to do, but it all has to be rubbed down anyways. Um, project number one, that's about the size of it. Till the next one.